Hello. This mission story comes from Indian. His name is Cleaning. He lived for soccer. Cleaning played soccer whenever he had free time after school in his hometown in northeastern India. When he moved to another town to prepare for state exams, he found other teens who played soccer and joined them on Saturdays. But Cleaning was astonished to hear people singing hymns and praying to God on the other side of the soccer field as he played on Saturdays. The field was located beside the campus of a Seventh day Adventist school and church. As he chased the ball around the field, he wondered, why are these people worshipping on Saturday instead of Sunday? Who are these people? A tear passing his state exams and completing 10th grade, Cleaning faces rejection when applying for 11th grade at a local school. Disappointed, he seeks advice from friends who are planning to study at an Adventist school near a soccer field. Encouraged by his friends, Cleaning applies to the Adventist school and is accepted. Over time, he discovers the reason behind the worship activities taking place on Saturdays at the school. At the school, he read in Genesis 2 that God had set aside the seventh day of the week, Saturday, as a holy day at the end of the creation week. He saw in Exodus 20 that God had reminded his people about the importance of keeping the Sabbath and the Ten Commandments. He realized that Jesus himself had faithfully kept the Sabbath while living on earth and had never changed the day of worship to Sunday. Cleaning told his parents that he wanted to join the Adventist church. His parents, however, balked at the idea. Not wanting to disappoint them, Cleaning reluctantly decided against baptism. Cleaning's hometown didn't have an Adventist church, and he missed Sabbath worship services when he returned home for vacation. He spoke to his parents and ten brothers and sisters about what he had learned about the Sabbath at school. But they didn't want to listen. His father sounded a more ominous note. If you choose to become an Adventist, you will have no part in this family, he said. You will be thrown out of the family. After graduating from 12th grade at the Adventist school, Cleaning enrolled in a non-Christian college in the same town. But he felt uncomfortable. He sensed that he didn't belong. He longed to study in a Christian college. While playing soccer one day, Cleaning heard from an Adventist teammate about an organization of Adventist student missionaries called the 1000 Missionary Movement. Cleaning liked the idea of being a student missionary, and he sought out the local leaders of the organization. Before long, he joined the Adventist church and spent eight months as a student missionary, teaching fourth grade children. His parents were not pleased that he had become an Adventist. But he no longer lived at home, and there was little that they could do to punish him. Meanwhile, a desire grew in Cleaning's heart to become a pastor, and he enrolled at Spicer Adventist University. Today, he is a second-year theology major who is hoping to reach the hearts of young people through soccer. My aim is to become a pastor and also reach young people in the community through soccer, he said. I would like to open a soccer academy and minister to young people. As you know, many young people love soccer. Through this sport, I want to reach young people and bring them to Jesus Christ. He said he has found freedom in knowing and following the Bible. This quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help build or rebuild six Seventh-day Adventist schools like the one where Cleaning first learned about the Seventh-day Sabbath in India. Thank you for planning a generous 13th Sabbath offering on March 30th.